practice exercise 4 fundamentals of numbers and set theory question 26 simplify this expression up to 50 terms now this is 1 upon root 1 plus root 3 and so on and so forth so what will be the 50th term the last term would be the first term is 1 into 2 plus 1 second term is 2 into 2 plus 1 third term is 2 into 3 plus 1 so the last term would be 1 upon 15 to 2 plus 1 is 101 and this would be 99. Okay. Now such questions are typically solved not mathematically but by applying the concept of mathematical induction which you would have studied in your school. Okay. Now let's try to convert the choice into specific case choices. Okay. Now what, what are the choices out here? Now these choices out here pertain to 50 terms. Now what is under root 101? This is under root 101. What about this? Under root 109? This is under, under root 109. And 101? This is 101 plus 8 or 99 plus 10. Okay. So if instead of all the terms, all 50 terms, sorry, if I look at just the first term, let me work only on the basis of first term. If the first term was only being used, then what should my choices be? Instead of under root 101, it would be under root 3. Under root 3 minus 1 upon 2 would be choice 1, choice A. Choice B, 109 is 99 plus 10 or 101 plus 8. So if I look at 1 plus 10 under root 11 minus 99, which is in this case the first term under root 1. Choice C, 1 minus 1 upon under root 101 since I am looking only at the first term under root 3. Choice D, 1 upon under root 99 and under root 101, so 9901. So choice D would be 1 upon under root 1 minus 1 upon under root 3. Okay. And E in any case is none of these. So let's check the choices. What is the value of 1 upon under root 1 plus under root 3? Let us just uh, rationalize. So, which means we will multiply numerator and denominator with 1 under root 1 minus under root 3. So, we have 1 upon under root 1 plus under root 3 into let us say root 3 minus root 1 upon root 3 minus root 1. Okay. Because root 1, 1 does not make a difference. I did root 3 minus 1 because root 3 is greater than 1. So, I do not get stuck with negatives. So, this will become root 3 minus 1 in the numerator. And denominator will be root c square minus 1 square. Root c square minus 1 square, which is root 3 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1, which is 2. Okay. So, which choice does it tally with? It tallies with choice A. So, my answer should be choice A. Now, this is the process which you have to adopt, which means when you are looking at such questions, please remember there will always be a pattern. So, our task is to identify the pattern. So, we looked at the 58th term. For 50 term, these are the possible choices. So, if I had only one term, what would be the choices what I started off with. Okay. Hope this helps you solve such questions in future.